We're with Coach Mike McConathy, who is finally at home for the last two regular season games against Central Arkansas on Thursday, against Oral Roberts Saturday. Uh, Coach, your team's won nine of the last 11. The only two losses came at the buzzer. Hard to play any better than that. Yeah, I mean, we had some moments where we didn't get stops in the last few minutes of the ball games, but uh, against Stan Houston, we really competed. We scored like eight points in the, in the last uh, short period of time to get back to where we get a shot to be able to, to tie the game. And then at Stephen F. Austin, we were uh, tied and had a turnover, which eventually cost us losing the game. But the turnover really didn't beat us. What beat us was not getting two defensive stops in the two previous possessions that hurt us. So as a coach thinks, do you think nine wins, those wins is playing, it's those mishaps at the end of the game that you, that you stick with. So now you, you go into these two games, Thursday and Saturday, with a lot on the line, trying to get a bye in the tournament, uh, trying to finish as strongly as you can, and uh, trying to leave a great impression at home. Talk about Central Arkansas on Thursday. Most dangerous team in the league, not because it's their next game, but because they have great talent. I think Coach uh, Finley's done a nice job with them. Um, LaQuentin Miles is remarkable, averaging 23 points a game. The, the most rebounds by a point guard in the history of a Southland Conference. Incredible. Just an amazing, in 51-year history, the most rebounds. So they're very talented. Shoot the three ball well. Uh, they really get up and down the floor well. They've got some good young bigs that are very aggressive. We're just going to really have to do a great job and come and uh, really compete and play at a high level to be able to get this win. And then Saturday, Oral Roberts. Let's talk about the basketball end of it. First of all, another premier player in the league. You'll see two, the two top scorers in the league, and Miles and then Sean Glover of Oral Roberts. Uh, Sean Glover's an amazing player. Uh, just very, very impressed with him, and uh, he just really has lit us up every time he's ever played us. Uh, he's a special player. They have special talent uh, with a special coaching staff of the Sutton family. Uh, they're very talented. They're streaking. They're playing extremely, extremely well. They uh, got two wins at home last week, and, you know, with the exception of a loss to Corpus Christi, have been very, very successful down the stretch. Yeah, they're comparable to you in the 9 out of 11 with two losses at the buzzer, and they're 6 out of 7 with an overtime loss on the road. So, a uh, heck of a matchup on Saturday afternoon. No doubt about it. And, uh, it, it, you know, we're both playing for fourth place is what it amounts to if we take care of our business on, on Thursday. All right. You are also bidding adieu to four seniors, um, Gary Stewart, Patrick Robinson, four-year Letterman, and two-year uh, junior college transfers, Bryson White and Daquan Hicks guys who have been very impactful to this basketball program. Uh, no doubt about it. Gary and Patrick being here for four years. Gary will graduate this spring. Patrick's on, on, uh, on pace to get that done this summer. Uh, Daquan and uh, Bryson, very exciting players. Uh, junior college transfers who've made a great impact. Uh, one thing interesting about Daquan and uh, Bryson is they had a great, pretty good impact immediately. Uh, a lot of times junior college players don't have an immediate impact. I'll use Ryan King as an example. It took till February, really mid-January, for Ryan to really come around. Those two guys stepped in, were ready to go from the beginning, uh, uh, toss up of the ball in November. So excited about where they are and, and very hopeful that uh, Daquan and Bryson will continue uh, on to get their, their degree because getting an education is the most important thing. Uh, winning games is very important, but if we come and we don't get our, our degree, then we've really not been successful. All year long, you've talked about games in March. We're now in March. Next week is the most important week of the season, the Southland Conference Tournament. Are you where you want to be? Uh, we still got some room to grow, but that's what, that's what it's about. That means we can continue to grow. We've got to finish strong this week and then get ready for it. One of the things that's amazing about our program is we've been in seven championship games out of ten years that we've been in the conference tournament of the 14 years I've been here. So that's 70%, uh, not bad. Uh, but to do that, everybody's got to be on the same page. We've got to be competing. And I think that we're starting to get there. I started to see that the last couple of weeks and you know, hoping that we can round that off and finish really strong this weekend to put ourselves in a position to be hot going into the tournament. I know you've been proud of how your team's competed on the road the last month. But as Dorothy said in The Wizard of Oz, there's no place like home. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And excited about getting to come back home and finish up here against UCA and Oral Roberts on Thursday and Saturday, respectively. And just a great chance for people to come out and see us play, uh, see some seniors play their last two games. I want people to do that. I know that sometimes when it gets into March, our crowds aren't quite as well. We'd love to have a great crowd 
uh, against uh, on Thursday night uh, against UCA, against a team that will be very exciting. It will be really exciting basketball because of the way they play. Thanks, Coach.